What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Amelia Talks. I know it has been a hot minute, but I have tried to stay away from doing army videos, but I cannot. Like I've mentioned before, my weakness is helping other people. And I just feel like based off the information and the knowledge that I have, I just have to share it with you all. Now, granted, this video will be about my own personal experience and my own opinion. Hopefully, no one will come for me. And the reason, another like, reason for why I decided to make um, the army videos is because I had people coming up to me. I'll give you an example. It was brought, you know, to me. Um, oh, so what you using your phone for? Are you using your phone to record videos? You using your phone to do this? You What you gonna do? Upload it on YouTube? And so when you have people come to you, you know, with that, it's kind of like, it kind of le le leaves you kind of like blindsided. Like, what do you mean? Like, are you asking me this because you're gonna go tell on me? Are you asking me this because- So what are you gonna do about it? We're reporting it. Are you gonna arrest me? And you know, so like based off of my personal experience, I did not want to continue talking about armor related videos because relationships matter and you know, it's it's about trusting people. And granted, the YouTube community is extremely large. You never know who will run across your video. You just have to be mindful that everybody is not, you know, there to support you. Everybody is not there to, you know, help you succeed. Or, you know, some people are actually out to get you. Some people might do and say things thinking that they're helping you, but they're really not. Like, I had uploaded two videos. The first video was about in processing when you're getting ready to go to WASP. And then the second video was about my failed experience and what happens if you do fail something within WASP. And that was my personal experience. And it, you know, it went all the way left. And so from that point, I have been mentally struggling trying to figure out how can, can I, I still be able to help others without someone being in their feelings, without someone feeling like they're doing me justice by telling on me or by taking my contents out of content because my intentions have always been pure regardless of what I'm saying about the army, regardless of what I'm uploading on YouTube, is to help other people. Okay, so enough about that. I'm gonna I'm stop rambling on. But this video will also will only be, or this video will be more so, more so in regards to my personal experience and things that I think will help you get through walks if you are going. This is not no answers to no test. This ain't no, hey, we did this from point A to point B. This is not, hey, this is what happens every day. This is not like, you know, you can do this. Like none of that is my personal experience, okay? I don't want nobody to come back and be like, well, oh, she's talking about this and she she said that y'all did this and she need to take, need that, to take video. that video down. Like somebody, you know, has approached me and said, oh, you know, you need to take that video down. You're like, or you need to make it private. I have two videos. One was about in processing and what to expect when you're in process at WAPS. And then the second video was about me actually failing two events at WAPS and what happens next after you are a failure. And so, like I was saying, and my intentions was good. Um, I felt like I was helping others. And that's basically what it was. And so this video, like I said, will be about my experience in regards to failing and what I think you can do and prepare yourself to do instead of basically telling you the answers. And then I will also link a video down below that I guess, or I would assume, I would say it did because it is an approved video on YouTube about walks. And so instead of me telling you you know, we do this and we do that. I'm gonna allow someone else who went through the process and the systems to get you through walks. I'm gonna leave it down below. And then before we get started, I feel like people only watch like snippets of videos because they don't wanna hear everything that the person is saying in regards to the video. So before you even decide that you wanna go say something, or I guess you can say go tell, or even if you feel like you are doing a due justice to the other person, come approach that person and say, hey, I see that you had a video based off of XYZ. I think you should take it down. Or hey, I feel like you had a video about this. I don't think you should have uploaded it. Or hey, maybe you should go do this and do that before you upload your videos. And I will do that. I mean, I can I can consider it because it's it's not that serious for me to jeopardize my career. I have a family, I care about them so much. I care about my career. I care about the relationships that I have established and that I am currently still building. So the intent is not to get on here and just give the answers to people. That's not what I'm trying to do, okay? So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, so everyone, if you don't know, or you know from everyone who has watched my pre previous videos, yes, I went through walks and I graduated and 
I would say the top five things that you need to be mindful of when you get there. Like I said, this is not the answers to anything, but these are some of the key takeaway things that I learned and it's in, based off my opinion and my experience. The first thing is time management. Make sure you know how to manage your time from the time you go to sleep to the time you go to bed. Like just stay focused, just remain humble, you know, continue, like stay motivated. And you know, if you feel yourself doing something outside of what you should be doing, then that means you're wrong because your time is valuable. Like you're, you have time to do certain things. And if you have time to do certain things, those are the things that you need to be doing. So if you struggle with time management in it's, regards to, Hey, I need to set my alarm at this time so I can make sure I'm up uh, a PT and you're not doing that, or you're hitting snooze every, you know, five, 10 minutes, every time the alarm go off, then you're going to be struggling when you get ready to go to school. Like time management is a, a huge thing. It's like time management, on steroids because you have to be where you need to be by a certain time okay and that's just what it is the second thing that I would say or take away from is studying make sure you study I failed to study like I was supposed to and like I said in my previous video I uploaded a video on what happens if you fail something while you are at walks and so I will say make sure you use your study time for your study time and then when you have extra study time then make sure you use that time to study or not when you have extra study time. When you have extra time on your hands, like on a Sunday or whatever, study. You know, when you have time, extra time to just be to yourself, be in your zone, use that time to study. Whether you're studying with your note cards, whether you are, you know, doing something based off of what you took notes in or whatever the case may be, use that time to study. Everyone's strong, does not have a strong, um, what is it called? everyone's strongest point is not taking tests okay so for me i know that i need extra time to study and i kind of like gambled with that time i was like you know what i'll study over here or i'll wait and do it you know and then i'm too tired and then i'm sleepy and then i couldn't really re retain the information when it was time for me to take the test the next day so i would say the second takeaway from me going to was is making sure you know, you study. The third thing I will say is give 100%. Give 100% at all times. Do not sell yourself short by not mentally doing what you need to do because you're tired of someone else or you're tired just in general. Like granted, we, we are going to have things that come up in life, whether it's our family, whether it's an emergency, whether it's something personal, whatever it might be, just give 100%. Like, if you feel like you are waking up having moments where like, I don't want to be here. Or, oh, this is getting on my nerves or, oh, this is, and you're starting to complain, then that is a problem because you're an officer. Like for one, you shouldn't be complaining. Um, not saying that you shouldn't complain, but try not to complain out loud or find somebody that you can actually go talk to and you can complain to them because when you get back to your unit, you ain't going to be able to complain to your soldiers. Like that's going to look tacky. You're a whole officer and you over here complaining about being at work or whatever you might be complaining about. So just, I would say, try to stay away from it, but try to give 100%. 100%. That's the third thing, give 100%. So the first thing is time management. Use your time wisely. The second thing was using your time to study. Make sure you are studying, study, study, study. The third thing that I just discussed was giving 100%. The fourth thing I will say, ACFT. For whatever reason, everybody, like down from the time I remember when I joined as a private, soldiers were complaining about, I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'm going to do the bare minimum. I don't care, bare minimum. I don't care how people view me. I don't care. Listen, stop having that mentality of doing the bare minimum. Now, if you feel like you're going to be hurting or if you feel like you are in pain and you can only really do the bare minimum, then do the bare minimum. But you don't want to push or have that little team cushion of if you do the bare minimum you might po possibly fail something now i did not fail my acft even though it wasn't a record for me at the time that i you know even though at the time that i actually took my acft it wasn't a record but i still gave a hundred percent which i just said you should do which was the third thing like there are some people or yeah that only have to do 10 push-ups do 11 do 12 do 13 don't get down there and be like oh i'm gonna just do the bare minimum I mean, what does that do for you? I mean, you know what? Let me just stop talking about the bare minimum. Go out there. For example, if you have an issue with your knee and you know you're not on profile for your knee because when you become a warrant officer, you can't be on profile unless it's like a shaving profile. Um, 
So let's just say, for example, you suck at running. Okay, we all suck at running, but I'm not going to go out there and, you know, barely pass by doing the bare minimum, which is what, 21 minutes, 22 minutes. I'm going to try to run as fast as I can to beat the, the bare minimum because I know I can. I'm going to try to do better than the bare minimum. For one, PT is a thing. Like, it really is. Working out is a thing. Like a lot of guys and women love to go to the gym. They like to weight lift, body, bodybuilding, weight lifting, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So don't be over here trying to get swole and get some muscles and all of that. But then when it pertains to, you know, con you know, giving back to the army and doing something that you signed up for, don't complain about it and not give 100%. Like give 100% on your ACFT. I'm telling you, it matters. If you don't know that it matters, I am telling you that it matters, okay? And the last thing that I will say is when you are doing something as far as like volunteering for something, if you need help, make sure you ask. Do not fail and do not be the type of person where you don't want to speak up and ask for some help. And what I mean by that is for me, you know, like I was a class leader, I was volunteering to do coffee, I was doing this, I was doing that, I was doing this. You know, I was a finance officer, so... When you get that email asking about what you want to do, you know, just pick something. And regardless if you suck at it or not, just ask for the help, okay? So I would say that the thing that I took away from my experience is knowing when to ask for help. And you might be an introvert. You might not want to talk to people. You might be quiet, but still use your voice and ask for help. It'll help you to see and throughout the class if you speak up and say, hey, this is not my strong point. I know I'm doing it, but I could really use some help. Regardless if... You know what I'm saying? You're the primary, you're the alternate, or if there's other people that might be strong in that in that role that you decided to take on, okay? So, you know, you might not be strong in that, but by depending and relying on other people, that will help you throughout that whole process of feeling like you are alone or struggling with something that you have no clue about doing. So, make sure that you ask for the help. Speak up. Even if you are an introvert, speak up because we're building relationships. We're, we're here to help each other. This is not a one-man show, like, okay? So that's mainly what I would say, you know, in regards to me completing walks. I don't want to speak on what I did and all of that because apparently that was not, it was not a good video that I uploaded. So again, in regards to me going to see Legal and going to see Jag, I have not been able to just yet, but I will. But I am, you know, like me, I said, a few videos back like hey i'm not uploading no more army related videos and i have just been getting feedback you know dms messages all of that like why this and why that we need your advice on this please help us with this how come this and why this and why and i'm just like you know what i understand because i needed the same help and nobody was there or i didn't have anybody who i could you know contact or reach out to to ask these questions and so again my intentions are only to help i'm not trying to bad mouth or you know talk about anybody or pinpoint something specific to give the answers it out pertains to, to giving out the answers that's not what i'm trying to do and again i am now seeing that relationships really mean a lot like the army is big but the army is small and granted you know some people might feel like it's a personal gain because you can get monetized or because of your views and your watch hours and the time and all of that. I mean, that is true. We can get monetized as content creators, but I am very passionate. And again, I am helping, you know, and if I end up getting paid for it, you know, like that's not something that I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to gain a profit from making army related videos, okay? So if you have any questions about this video, again, this is my own personal experience and my own opinion, but leave them in the comment section down below. Or again, you can DM me at AmeliaG5587 on Instagram. Now, if you DM me on Instagram and I don't respond to you, which I'm usually pretty, pretty quick with responding to messages that I get, via you know outlook or instagram i respond within like 24 hours but if you are not following me and if you are not my friend your message will go to another inbox and then i won't see it unless i actually click on that tab at the top so if it's like two or three days pass by and i didn't respond to your dm on instagram then just shoot me a message on outlook y'all already know my last name is fullwood and my first name is amelia so shoot me an email and then i will be able to help you know help you not by giving you the answers but just basically 
like coaching and giving you some some mentorship on how you can be successful and i will be able to give you some mentorship and i will be able to coach you through you know what you need to do to mentally get through the class because i feel like the class wasn't even hard i a lot of things i could have done if i would have just uh, a lot of things i could have been successful you know in the class if i would have just asked if I would have gave 100%, which I felt like I did. So the 100% thing was not something that I lacked. And then also my ACFT, I scored over 52530 on my ACFT. So it wasn't my ACFT, but just looking at the overall course, this is some feedback that I want to give to you all. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope nobody don't approach me and I get, you know, blindsided. You know, so I hope this video was helpful to someone. You know, congratulations on being selected. Congratulations on being, you know, a part of the cohort. And I look forward to speaking to anyone that has any questions. Until next time, this is Amelia Talks. Let's talk about it. Peace.